Hey guys, so welcome to my bug barbecue. 71 Super Beetle convertible that I restored the pan and put an interior and new top on it. And let's see how bad it is. Not too bad. So. All right, so the first order of business is to cut out all this charred wire. That's from the main harness and replace it. And while I have the book on this and pretty much know where most of this stuff goes, I like to just kind of make myself a little diagram of where it was wired originally. And fortunately, I'm a bit of a hoarder. So every harness I've ever pulled apart, I kept what I thought was pretty good. And I've pretty much got every gauge of wire that I'm going to need to put this back together and plenty of connectors. So let's get after that. All right. So I had to cut the harness back pretty good ways, but I got it pretty much rebuilt. Everything's running where it's supposed to, or oil switch. Uh, I didn't pull this distributor, um, and the wires are a little bit charred on it but I'm hoping it'll be okay. I haven't checked connectivity yet, but uh, I'll do that and hopefully that'll work. I just need it to fire up. If I have to, I'll pull a distributor from another bug uh, until a new one comes, but have it all pretty much ready to put back together. So we got our beautiful new carburetor. Uh, pretty much just another pick three, uh, same old carb, but it's pretty. It's new. Uh, spark plug cables, new distributor cap, new rotor, uh, using the old fuel pump seems fine. Um, this is the coil we had in it, obviously it's pretty charred. Um, that was a nice one, but it's goose got kind of cooked. So I'm just going to throw the old coil that was in this motor in here, because I know it works. And uh, I'll replace that one here shortly. And a new little harness for the electric choke. So let's get all this stuff in, new fuel line, whole nine, let's spend some time and make it fine. Alright, so we got all our new components installed. I started to put in some new spark plugs and uh, they weren't getting spark. Uh, so I ran a multimeter on my distributor and my coil all checks out, but I wasn't getting power from the fuse box. So the line to the coil comes directly from the fuse box and then comes out of the fuse box and goes to the ignition and that sucker's melted. So the previous owner had a fuse in there. It was way too high amperage, so the fuse didn't do its job. So when all that caught on fire, that went, and that was grounding out. So I'm not gonna blame the previous owner. I should have checked all that and made sure all the fuses were correct. So I'm um, heating up the soldering iron, and we got into our steering column, and you can see that that wire that's going to the coil that melted all the way to the ignition so we're gonna solder that out of there and replace it and hopefully that gets us some spark let's get after it so whenever i'm repairing a harness uh, especially something that's as deep as having to take apart the steering column and everything and uh, go through the firewall I go ahead and heat shrink that connection. Not only does it protect it, but from being pulled on and off of those uh, fuse clips, that gets pretty weak. So that kind of gives it extra protection from being pulled on and off. And uh, definitely check that continuity to make sure that you're not, uh, even if it's brand new wire, you want to make sure that that continuity is good, that you're installing a good piece of wire. What do you think, Darstar? Hey guys, so I'm um, back to working on the bug BQ. Was pretty foul. We're trying to make it fair. Hopefully we're gonna start it today. I've already replaced all the components in the engine compartment that were affected by the fire, uh, included all our wiring. 
but the fuse up the fuse box uh, totally failed. So that 50 line that runs hot to the coil melted all the way through the car. So show you here I actually replaced the entire fuse box because that thing was a shambles so you can see everything's still marked from when I was swapping it over so that's a totally new fuse box and going from that into the ignition switch that wire totally melted all the way into the ignition switch so I replaced all that wiring but I'm still not getting fire to the coil so I'm assuming that actually inside of that switch is also destroyed so for 23 bucks, I'm just bought a new one. Uh, I'm not gonna jerk with trying to fix it. It's all pretty solders, brand new wires, just ready to rock. So we're gonna stick that in and see if we can fire this car up today. Ugh, wish me luck. I am not in the mood for barbecue. All right, so here we go. Project bug New carburetor, all new wiring, new distributor, new cap, rotor, Plugs, plug wires, um, and a bunch of other goodies. Wiring all the way up to the front. New fuse box, new ignition switch. And we have a running box. And hopefully it's not catching on fire. Is it on fire, baby? No? Okay. Ah, beep, beep. Alright guys, so if your bug fell victim to the loose fuel nipple and pressed into the stock carburetor body syndrome and caught on fire uh, in the middle of downtown and embarrassed the hell out of you, uh, don't fret. I know it's depressing, I know it looks bad, but for under 200 bucks, uh, I got this car running again and all these new parts probably had to be replaced anyway. So um, just get after it. Turn some wrenches. Take your time. Be patient. Keep working on it. It's totally worth saving. Man, these cars are getting rare. So let's uh, finish buttoning this sucker up and uh, throw some golf clubs in it and hit the links. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Please and thank you. Good job. Make sure you bring it back with a full tank. Okay.